we need to write these fractions as percentages. So first, we have 9 tenths. Now remember, a percentage is a fraction over 100. So we need to find a fraction equivalent to 9 tenths, which has a denominator of 100. To find equivalent fractions, we use multiplication. 10 times 10 is 100, and what we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator as well, and 9 times 10 is 90. So, because 9 tenths is equivalent to 90 hundredths, that's the same as 90%. Now, we have 3 fifths. 5 times 20 is 100, because 5 times 2 is 10, so 5 times 20 must be 100. And again, what we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator as well. 3 times 20 is 60, so that's 60%. Now, we have 17 twentieths. Again, we can find our equivalent fractions. 20 times 5 is 100, so now, to get our percentage, we need to work out 17 times 5. We can use short multiplication for this. So 7 times 5 is 35, so 3, 5. 1 times 5 is 5, plus 3 is 8. So 17 twentieths is equivalent to 85 hundredths, which means it's the same as 85%. So if we look at what we did here, First, we had 9 tenths, so 9 parts out of 10 on our fraction bar. But a percentage is a fraction over 100, and we found that 9 tenths was equivalent to 90 hundredths, so that's 90%. Then, we had 3 fifths. We found that that was equivalent to 60 hundredths, so 60%. And finally, we had 17 twentieths so 17 parts out of 20. We found that that was equivalent to 85 hundredths, so as a percentage, 17 twentieths is 